So the main issue here when you're working with you know imaginary numbers is that you can't have an I, okay, in the denominator. That's considered improper. So you want to get rid of that I in the denominator. And just to refresh, if you don't remember already, the I is represents the square root of negative one. So we don't want that I in the denominator. How do we get rid of it? What we do is we multiply by the complex conjugate. Now the complex conjugate, okay, is two plus I, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that sign in between the two and the I, the real part and the imaginary part, we're gonna change that to the opposite. So if this was minus, this would be plus, you know, and, and vice versa. So basically, what students do sometimes when they make a mistake is that they'll say, okay, that's positive two and positive I, let me make this negative two and negative I. You don't wanna do that, you just wanna change a sign in between. Okay, and then whatever you do to the denominator, you wanna do also to the numerator, because think about it, anything divided by itself is one, right? And when you multiply this whole fraction by one, it doesn't change the value of the fraction, it just changes the way that it looks. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to distribute the three, okay, like so. So that's gonna give us three times two is six minus three times i, which is three i. And then in the denominator, what we're gonna do, since we have a binomial, which means two terms times a binomial, another two terms, is we're gonna FOIL. So you take the first term, you can do the FOIL method or you can do the distributive property twice. So let's just do that. We'll distribute the two, okay, to both of those. So two times two is four. Two times negative i is negative two i, okay? And then we're gonna distribute the i to both of these. i times two gives us positive two i, and then i times i, i times negative i is negative i squared, okay? So what you notice here right away is that the negative two i and the positive two i, those cancel, because one's positive, one's negative. Okay, and then we have this i squared here. Now, i squared, you want to remember that i squared equals negative one, okay? So a negative one times this negative would give you a positive one, plus four is five. So the denominator becomes five, and you can see we've accomplished our goal of eliminating the i in the denominator, okay? And the reason it works, again, is because you see how these inside and outside terms are canceling one another out. But you don't wanna leave it here. What you wanna do is you wanna split this up into two fractions. So this is gonna be six fifths minus three fifths i. So when we write our answers in uh, complex numbers, we wanna separate the real part, a, from the imaginary part, okay, the bi part. So the, the best way to write this is like this, six fifths minus three fifths i, and you're done. Okay, let's look at another example real quick. So this one here, same idea, we've got that i in the denominator, it's considered you know, not proper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by the conjugate, okay, and they call this the complex conjugate because this is a complex number, but all you do is you just multiply by three plus four i. You're just changing that sign in between to the opposite. Now whatever you do to the denominator, you wanna do to the numerator, right? Because anything divided by itself is one. Okay, and then all we have to do now is multiply. Now remember, you don't wanna just make the mistake of multiplying the real parts and the imaginary parts. Because it's a binomial times a binomial, you wanna FOIL or do the distributive property twice. So we've got five times three, which is 15, five times four i, which is 20 i, i times three, which is three i, and then i times four i, which is four i squared. Okay, all divided by three times three, which is nine, 3 times 4i, which is 12i. Negative 4i times 3 is negative 12i, and negative 4i times positive 4i is negative 16i squared. Okay, so are you with me so far? So now all we have to do is, let's combine like terms. So uh, let's see, so i squared is negative 1, times 4 is negative 4, plus 15 is 11, and this comes out to 23i. Okay, that's for the numerator. Now for the denominator, you can see the 12i and negative 12i are canceling one another out. i squared is negative 1, times the negative 16 is positive 16, plus nine is 25. Okay, the last thing we wanna do is we wanna split this up into two fractions. We wanna separate the real part from the imaginary part, and there we go. So that's our final answer. I hope this helped you to understand how to work with complex numbers uh, better, especially with the rationalization of complex uh, fractions like this. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I'll, I'll see you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.